Hello and welcome to Marketing Partshala. I am Pankaj Chauhan. In this session, I am going to discuss theory of capital movement. It is an international investment related theory which explain how capital move. According to this theory of capital movement, at constant factor price the production structure shift and create an excess demand of capital in foreign country as compared to home provided that home is capital abundant and foreign nation or country is labor intensive so this is the statement of this theory so far the considerations or the assumptions considered in this model are concerned these assumptions include two country consideration two commodities consideration and consideration of two factor of production now let me clear two things here clear to those who are new to international business management and are studying this theory for the first time in international business management these theories are basically kind of explanation and to provide an ease these theories consider a kind of framework in this theory that is the theory of capital movement it is considered that there exist only two countries so this is an assumption in real life we have large number of countries but for the purpose of explanation how capital move so this theory consider only two countries number one and every country is dealing with one commodity so in total there will be only two commodities and it is also assumed that each commodity require one important factor for its production so here we are talking about two commodities so two factor of productions are considered so this is the model consideration coming to this statement at constant factor price the production structure shift so this factor price means the price of the factor which is considered as important variable for the production of a commodity right and the production structure here implies the overall setup which is required for the production of the commodity so one is about the entire setup to produce a particular commodity and factor here implies a variable and factor price implies the cost of that variable so one more time let us look at this statement if there has been a case of two country two commodity and two factor of production then at constant factor price the production structure shift and create an excess demand of capital in foreign country as compared to home if there is a condition provided that home country is capital abundant and foreign country is labor intensive now let me put it in diagrammatic way so that we can understand this theory easily so i have already plotted one chart over here so if you can see here home country is capital abundant as this statement was considering capital abundant means that the home country 
has got advantage of capital they have lot of capital and because they are capital rich so what commodity they will be producing what type of goods they will be producing they will be producing capital intensive goods means those goods which require large capital whereas look at the foreign country here a foreign country is labor abundant which means it has got advantages in labor because labor is their competence labor is their main resource so they will be producing labor intensive goods now because they are producing labor intensive goods and if there are the possibilities of export and import between these two because if you are talking about international trade obviously one country will be exporting to the another country so look at the foreign country case here this foreign country will be exporting only labor intensive goods why labor intensive goods because they are producing labor intensive goods similarly home country will be exporting capital intensive goods right now what happen in foreign country is that it impose tariff on capital intensive good so imposition of impose tariff on capital intensive goods it means the relative price of capital goods will increase if any kind of tax has been imposed on these capital intensive goods this is going to increase the price so price of capital intensive goods will increase right now because these capital intensive goods were actually importing from home country right these capital intensive goods were coming to this foreign country as a as an import so we know that uh, if something is more imp importing then it will create a kind of deficit so to to cover up that deficit government impose a tariff and as a result the cost or the price of the capital intensive goods uh, which i would say here imported capital intensive goods the price of these goods will increase so as a result its domestic production in the foreign country will take a leap because if prices are increasing then obviously the customer will not going to purchase these and as a result the companies within this foreign country will see it an opportunity and they will then start to produce these kind of goods at a relatively cheaper price so what what is happening here is the factor will move right factor will move out of labor intensive sector to the capital intensive sector so what happen here is because of increase in the price of imported capital intensive goods the domestic manufacturers look an opportunity into this and they start to produce capital intensive good as a result the factor of production will move from labor intensive to capital intensive right this this is happening 
Now, let us consider a situation. Situation is, if factor price equalization happen, right? If factor price equalization right if factor price equalization happen what does it mean it means that the cost of factor in both the countries become equal the cost of factor in both the country become equal so the cost of capital in home country now become equal to the cost of capital in foreign country right this happen so if this happen and now after factor price equalization the government in foreign country lift this tariff that they imposed if they remove this tariff even if they remove this tariff no capital will flow because cost of capital has become same in both the countries due to factor price equalization if foreign country want to produce more of the capital intensive goods they can manage it by themselves so the learning from this situation is that was the factor price become constant when the factor price become constant production structure actually shifted like in this case from labor intensive to capital intensive goods and this actually created an excess supply of labor because herein if we are we are shifting from labor to capital intensive goods so what happened to these these people over here so this will create an excess supply of labor and because manufacturers at, in domestic market are making capital intensive goods so they will be looking for more capital right they will be looking for more capital as a result demand of capital in foreign country will rise as compared to this home country and at it is possible that if government here remove this tariff still capital intensive goods may not be prefer prefer pre prefer to be import from this foreign country rather the the manufacturers in foreign country may be looking forward for this capital only because here they are looking for more capital now the price the the cost of capital in both the countries is same so capital can move if they remove this tariff so what we learned in this theory is that when factor price equalization happen right then possibly no capital will flow but once the barrier to capital mobility are removed then obviously because of the excess demand of capital 
the capital from home country to foreign country will take place so this is what this theory suggested in its statement that at constant factor price the production structure shift so in this example you may have seen that the production structure from labor intensive to capital intensive shifted now this shift was conditioned to this constant factor price and because of this shift excess of demand of capital in foreign country as compared to home right will be generated and because of this if the barriers to the capital mobility are removed then capital will move so this is about the theory of capital movement i am hopeful that this may have added some value in the understanding of this theory and in the next video i will be coming up with another theory so thank you so much